Welcome back to Industry Secrets, where every Thursday I release a new episode submitted by our Make Money membership members. They submit questions anonymously. I go real, I go raw, no BS, no star stuff and fluff, just 100% straight to the point on how I would navigate this thing that they're going through. And so today we have a question about manifestation. They say, when it comes to taking full, full accountability, that you are the source, that you are the creator of your reality, like non-duality, Abraham Hicks, how do you balance that and also not take on other people's responsibility, keep them accountable, but also being in control and not in total overwhelm of the bad things that happen in your life. So basically, how do you remember that you are the source of everything that happens in your life and how do you not take responsibility for what other people are doing? All right, so I'm, again, industry secrets, secrets, I'm giving it to you real raw, my honest, true opinion, my belief on this, and, and what I do in my life. The first thing is that I do believe that everything is my fault. Like, if I have a problem going on in my life, I genuinely believe it is my fault. And not in a bad way or, like, shaming way of myself, of an empowering way of, oh my god, this is completely my fault, which means I get to change this, which is why... When something bad happens to me, I genuinely believe that it's always working out in my favor. I'm like, oh, that happened, must be going through an up level. Oh, that happened, great, so I can get stronger. It's the same thing in when I take Muay Thai or when I grew up dancing or after college dancing in New York City and teaching dance, I always knew that in order to get stronger, you had to get told no in an audition. You had to literally tear your muscle in order to make it stronger. And so I very quickly knew that in order to get stronger, in order to be a better mentor, in order to be a better service provider, CEO, girlfriend, daughter, partner, human, queen, I had to go through challenges. And so I don't really worry about challenges. I'm just like, this is going to help me. Now, very straight and very real, when shit's hitting the fan, I am human and I go through normal things like normal humans do and I cry and I get upset and I get angry. But ultimately, if I were to zoom into my core soul level of who I am, I'm like, nah, I got this. Everything is working out. That, that's a blip. I also surround myself with people that remind me of that. Like my partner, he'll always remind me of like, Bridge, this is working out for you. So what? You've got this. Like, this is going to help you rise. It's not that big of a deal in this grand scheme of things. My mom will always, she always says to me, God has a plan. Like, I'm always being reminded that everything is working out for me. Everything. So I don't really worry about, like, the quote-unquote bad things. But I also take radical responsibility for things. I'm, I'm self-aware enough to know that if things are happening, it's like, well, how did you contribute to this? How, and how can you make this better? And how can you make this, like, just, a, like, what can you learn from this experience? And then the piece with not taking, what was it, not being accountable, also not take on other people's responsibility and keep them accountable for their own stuff. So it's a duality. So there are, are times when a conflict happens and I will share honestly about with that person. Like I'm a very direct person, I'm a very direct mentor, um, just person in general. And so when a conflict arises, I'm okay with having those conversations and reflecting back to them what I actually see. And I'm okay with not being liked or I'm okay with not people pleasing. Or, uh, or offending people. I'm okay with that. And at the same time, I also recognize, like I said before, what can I learn from the situation? Where's the lesson with, embedded within this? Where is the thing that I need to learn out of this situation? Because again, I do believe that everything is working out for me. I also know that in these moments of conflict and challenge in your life, I know that they're hard, but they are making you stronger. And they're going to help you get to another level. And if you can remember that in these situations, 
the next time you go through that challenge, you'll, you'll be stronger. I remember like, there's been so many things over the course of my business, whether it's clients, whether it's trolls on the internet, whoever, whatever, that I've had to go through that over the time, I've just gotten stronger. And so when challenges arise or someone says something, I'm able to really zoom out and just go, but how is this serving me? But how is this making me stronger? But how is this better? And then I'm open to having difficult conversations with people. Like, it's like that quote, just have the difficult conversations, do the difficult thing and life will become easier. And that's true. The more that you avoid it, the harder life will get. But the more that you lean into the challenge, the easier life gets because you become stronger. It's like when you're in a spin class and they told, tell you to increase the resistance, it's, it's designed to help you. It's like in one of our episodes, I talked about Muay Thai fighting. And when you're sparring with someone, it actually feels awful when you go to punch someone and they, they like kind of half-ass punch back. It feels awful. But it feels amazing when they, when you punch someone and they resist that resistance, it, it's creating stability. It's creating strength in the body and in the mind. And so I don't ever worry about those things while in the mortal realm, maybe I'm sad or I'm like, oh, I get like angry or I have a moment of like, Ooh, baby, this is hard, but I don't allow it to eat me up and stop me from continuing to move forward. Cause I'm like, Oh, you're here to challenge me. Oh, you're here to help me rise. Those are my thoughts. This is also how I manifest anything that I want in my life. I literally believe that everything is working out for me, and so I have nothing to worry about. Well, at the same time, I do worry about things, of course, because I'm human. But I, and in the grand scheme of things, I know that everything is working out in my favor. Freedom Queen, today was a good one. If you got value out of this, Share it to your Instagram stories and tag me. If you're in our Make Money membership, you can always submit questions to the industry secrets. If you're not in our Make Money membership and you would like to be a part of the greatest membership on the internet, where I teach you how to build an iconic movement, where I teach you the foundations that you need to sign on clients, where I teach you how to be your most iconic self, click below and join the Make Money membership. And I will see you next Thursday, same time, same place, for industry secrets.